going on folks sap dude here how you all doing i hope you stay solid stay hungry for some new sap stuff i'm at the texas workshop location again this time i came with a topic called resource scheduling rsh with sap more details will come pretty soon in this video let's start with the business case first the guys called me some weeks ago because they have a new requirement related to maintenance scheduling. They already follow the face-based maintenance model with SAP. If you don't know it yet, check out my other video where I describe it pretty well. Okay, and for now they just do the planning and stuff, but there is no real scheduling. They have no view on the capacity of the technicians, whether they are overloaded with the work or they don't have much work planned. It's not a rocket science and it could be also managed with traditional old SAP system. For instance, there is a transaction CM25 and so on. But as you already know me for some time, we are not here for old, ugly and not user-friendly solutions. We want to recommend our clients something much more than that. This is why I'm here again. Let's bring the example from Texas Workshops on the table. There are two groups of technicians in this plant, mechanics and electricians. As you may suspect, they are also separately reflected in SAP system. They all work from 7 a.m. till 3 p.m. It means each person is available 8 hours a day. In other words, this is a capacity of each person. Both groups have also a leader, here we got Ralph for mechanics and David for electricians. And they also perform the maintenance work. It means we consider them in the capacity. If we sum up all these guys' capacity for one day for mechanics is 48 hours and for electricians 40 hours. There are also two maintenance planners, Ernest and Nina. And the vehicle maintenance planner, Ernest, wants to be more proactive. He wants to start using the SAP's possibilities. He wants to monitor the capacity of the technicians and schedule the work better. The second planner is more, let's say, traditional. She has a magical Excel somewhere on her PC. Let's see her for now. I guess once she notices what the other planner is doing in SAP, she will change her mind as well. Now we will switch to a quick presentation where I will show you the scheduling concept. I guess you know what scheduling is, if not, let me explain it real quick. Scheduling is not the first step in the asset management activities. The concept is called work management. If you want to know and learn more, check out the description of the video. First, we start with the work identification we have to know why we actually need a maintenance. In this example, one of our car lifts got damaged. It was reported by our workers and we have to perform the maintenance work. It means the work has been identified. Now we switch to planning. This is where maintenance planner does the work. He or she plans the list of activities which have to be performed to bring the broken car lift back to proper condition. Two tasks have been defined for this work. Shut the car lift down and replace the spare parts. The work planning step is done. Now we can switch to scheduling. Scheduling means when the work has to be carried out. Our maintenance planner plans the car lift maintenance to be done next week. Of course, there are many factors which matter. First, the most important one is capacity. In other words, availability of your crew. If they are already overloaded next week and they have no time for any additional work, then the maintenance planner has to reschedule the work. And all these things you can do with resource scheduling tool, so-called SAP RSH. SAP RSH allows you to schedule the resources on work center and personal level, considering the capacity as well. This tool is also compatible with 9-phase maintenance model, which I explained deeply in my other video, make sure you check it out. Let's quickly jump back to the Texas workshop, we will pick some example and then use it in the SAP system. 
I'm in the main hall of Texas workshop and we got two car lifts in front of us and the maintenance planner decided that yeah, the car lift requires some maintenance so basically there will be tasks for technicians specifically for mechanics and for electricians as well so he wants to not only plan the job because he already did it in the system and we will see it in a following minute but he also wants to perform the scheduling by using RSH so now we will switch to this SCP system and go through this example it's time for the demo I'm a maintenance planner right now to save us some time I have already created an order in the system actually two orders so I will show you right now these two we go to the app find maintenance order first one was inspection run Texas and this is the order I defined three operations spare parts replacement inspection checklist test run all right and these tasks are all for mechanics here you can also see that we have two hours for the checklist two hours for the spare parts replacement and two hours for the test run the order for electricians is compression test I go inside go to operations and here we have 10 hours all right both these two orders are to be done this week today is 23rd of October now with SAP RSH I will show you how to monitor the capacity how to reschedule the work and how to have better grasp on all this information regarding scheduling and so on so for this we need this application resource scheduling for maintenance planners all right we go inside and here we have a nice dashboard with many information um, let's focus on this information right here we have work center utilization basically yeah, capacity versus the requirement so we see that for instance electricians are just the work is planned for five percent of their total capacity and for mechanics it's just three percent yeah and we also have an information how it's going next week why we have 70% here because I created also a, another order just for mechanics for next week I will show it later all right we have uh, other things like how many maintenance orders we have in total when it comes to priority so one is very high here uh, we have the operations in the next four weeks we also have things like the amount of work which is not assigned so okay the orders are created but they are not assigned to specific people I mean personal numbers right we can of course go to the upper right corner and here I can adapt the I can change the cards so here I can for instance hide most of the things and they disappear of course I can also switch like this it also works I go back activate all of them before we go into details we go again to this side and here we have such option my work centers because here we have to select the work centers which we want to see in this dashboard and we have our electricians and mechanics of course we can add more or delete and so on cool so now we go inside the work center utilization app we click mechanics and here we see that we have in total four operations for next four weeks which are assigned to mechanics we have many options here let's have a look at, at this table so we have four operations which belong to two maintenance orders because first three operations belong to one order Mo monthly inspection around Texas and the sec the last operation is just it's one uh, it's an order with one operation and we see that the first three operations are planned for this week again we have 21st of October when I'm recording this and this is basically this week and next week we got this big order for 40 hours that's why you saw 17 percent or percent of utilization of this uh, work center and here we got some graph you can see the utilization of course you can change it like we have some settings here 
and we can change the views and we can change the order type uh, and so on. We won't discuss these details in this video. Just wanted to, to give you some big overview how it's how it works here. All right. What's important, we can have a look at this button, change work center capacity. If you remember from my slide, mechanics, we have six mechanics. Each guy works for eight hours, so it's 48 hours. Let's click it and see if it's uh, like this. And exactly, mechanics work from 7 a.m. till 3 p.m. like electricians, but here we got 48 hours capacity. For electricians, we got 40. Of course, I had to set it up, part of the settings which you do, whether in the backend or via uh, Fiori apps, uh, this is where you define it. All right, what we can do now, we can select these three operations and for instance, we can of course change the dates. We can, for instance, dispatch this work. So then it will change the processing status to dispatched. Uh, and of course it will disappear from the dashboard from specific tile which informs us that we didn't dispatch the work yet. I'm in the maintenance orders tab and I select the first order and because I want to show you something called maintenance scheduling board. It's like a Gantt chart and if I go inside you see some nice graphical view of the order. I click this icon to show you the operations and now with drag and drop method uh, we can reschedule these tasks. I will zoom in to show you the, the current week. So it's 24th of October and let's say the checklist will be done 25th, so in two days. Uh, then spare parts replacement like this. And maybe test run, I can even right click and change like this, uh, maybe 26. So we have many options here and it's already saved. I can even select like this, click the change or dispatch. So dispatching key is, uh, is a next step. Yeah. Let's go back to the dashboard. So one more time we click go. Cause you see that for instance, we have 3% of utilization for this week. So let's take this 17% work which is planned for next week and plan it for this one. Of course, in reality, we don't plan work like this. We have more, uh, we do it in, more in advance, but for this purpose, let's, let's do this trick. All right, so we have the overview of operations and the last one is for the next week. So I select it and here I will use the option change and I plan it for tomorrow. And now we see the utilization has changed and mechanics are overloaded. They are not overloaded actually. They are like 20% utilized for this week. If we go for instance to an assigned work, we will see basically the operations with unassigned statues. I will also show you this part here, unassigned work. These are operations which are scheduled, but they are not yet assigned to specific people, specific technicians. So let's say that for mechanics, I want to assign these first two operations to myself. So I click assign and here I enter SAP here. Yeah done SAP dude and the operations have been assigned to me. Of course I gotta save it. I clicked it at the bottom of the screen, the save button and the operations automatically disappeared from the list. I go back and we are good to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Mm, this tool RSH is not so complex. I mean if you are not so new to SAP you know the solution called MRS multi-resource scheduling. This tool is not like a new product which reflects the old one MRS. It's not like this. So have it in mind. Let me know in the comment sections if you want to know something else about it. Um, and yeah, make sure you subscribe the channel 
follow me on LinkedIn, check out the description of the video and see you in the next one.